Oh, what a difference a day makes. Yesterday at this time, we were right in the middle of a huge winter storm, but today the snow has stopped and the skies are clearing. In fact, the next big weather event we have on the horizon is a warm up to nearly 50 degrees. Meteorologist Ben Bailey will have more on that in just a moment. But first, while the snow has ended, the cleanup has not, and the snow we got yesterday was heavy and potentially. Very dangerous. Paula Tutman joins us now live in Oakland County. And Paula, the snow is really hard to shovel and snow blow, and this is really dangerous for so many folks. Yeah, yeah, it really is. A lot of people actually call it a widow maker snow. You know what? You're right. First of all, I do want to tell you that we are having a beautiful day. It's very hard to kind of measure snow totals because of the wind, because it's gotten very, very breezy. So, for instance, like if I come over here, you can see that it's about nine and a half almost 10 inches, but then you come over here out of the drift and we get about six inches. And honestly, if, if you just go somewhere in between there, uh, between uh, northern Macomb and northern Oakland County, it is somewhere between there, but obviously anything over seven inches, it's a pain to shovel. The dig out has been more difficult for two reasons. This year, we don't really have our winter legs or arms or muscles. The month of December, we didn't get anything really, you know, and that's pretty much making up for it now. And the composition of the snow, wet, heavy, hard to move snow. It, it's pretty heavy. I lift 40 and 50 pound bags of salt a day, so this is equivalent. Today in Oxford, which got upwards of 10 inches or more, we found men moving mountains with machinery and muscle. This is pretty heavy snow. This is the fourth time I shoveled since yesterday. So it's, uh, we got a lot of snow. And what, last week it was almost 60 degrees. I was outside in a t-shirt. <laughs> leave it to Michigan. It's a wet snow. I couldn't even use my snowblower yesterday, I'm sorry, because uh, it just was clogging up because it would pack the snow into the snowblower chute. Small cars caught the brunt of the storm. This one ditched at the height of the snow last night, and a son sent to dig it out or kick it out by day today. Do you need us to call help for you? Just getting snow up was tough business, and some businesses in the downtown area of Oxford just decided to call it a day. Hi. Hello. Some took pity on a news crew out covering the storm and its aftermath. Well, because you look like you guys are lonely out here and cold, stuck in a van in the middle of winter. Ben Daddy's, known for the spanky sandwich, whipped up something hot, gooey, chewy, and delicious as a way to show that even though Oxford got dumped on last night, they have not lost their sense of hospitality today. You know what, that was so nice of him because a lot of times people drive by, they, you know, they try to splash snow up on you. In fact, that happened to me today, Karen. Somebody saw, threw snow, they just kind of drove close enough to get snow on my back. But, but you know what, that was so nice and those sandwiches were absolutely delicious. By the way, it hasn't all been drudgery. Uh, a lot of people had the day off and they weren't getting out their cars, they were getting out their snow machines and their snowmobiles. And that's what we've been watching drive down the street, Karen. Well, it's nice to see that nice hearted man helping you guys out. You were working so hard. Any leftovers? <laughs> Uh, no, no, yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> she had to think about it for a second. All right, Paula, thanks so much. Stay warm. We appreciate it. Well, not only is the snow hard to get rid of, it can be deadly, as Paula mentioned. Devin joins us now with a little bit more on that, and sometimes they do call it heart attack snow. Exactly right. Local hospitals, in fact, are reporting several people showing up in the emergency rooms compl complaining with chest pains after being out shoveling this very heavy snow. The DMC Heart Hospital started seeing people showing up overnight, and this happened every year, people overdoing it with their shoveling. In the most extreme cases, they do end up suffering a heart attack. While you're shoveling snow, if you notice any heaviness in your chest or tightness in the chest, then immediately stop. Pressure, uh, sensation in the middle of your chest, sometimes radiating to your jaw or to your arm. And if you have any of these symptoms, uh, de uh, seek medical advice immediately. Just two minutes of shoveling snow can increase your heart rate to the upper limits of normal. Just two minutes. Dr. Elder says anyone at risk for a heart attack, uh, not just the elderly or those who may be out of shape, uh, can find themselves in some trouble. So some important advice from Dr. Elder before heading out to shovel. First and foremost, make sure you've talked to your doctor if you've got any doubts about whether you're in shape for it. Shoveling is more strenuous than you think. Even if you are in really good shape, you'll want to get your doctor's advice on that. Also, once you're out there, take a break every 15 minutes. Maybe somebody will come along with pizza like they Ooh, did at That football. is important because some people kind of forget the break thing. It, I mean, that's you, exactly you, right. You feel like you're okay, but your body's working so hard it, in the weather. That's it. It doesn't feel like a real full workout mm -hmm. to you, but it's it's basically you're lifting right. uh, a lot of it. Uh, puts a lot of strain on your heart, and so think. Uh, 
twice before you get out, especially if you haven't been doing any activity recently, which happens to a lot of people in the wintertime. We've got more tips on clickondetroit.com, but the bottom line is take the risk seriously.